This video is about Metro X 3D Scanner by Revel Point. It happens to be a metrology grade laser scanner. It has a 7 parallel line mode, a 14 cross laser line mode. Then it has a structured light, it happens to be blue structured light, which you can also use in a turntable or you can use it freehand. The scanner happens to be one of the lowest cost laser scanners on the market, coming in around $1,000 US. In this video, I'll get into the different modes the scanner has. Just give you an overall look over the scanner. If you'd like to know more details about the scanner, feel free to check their website. All right, let's get to it. Here we have full field mode. It uses structured light. This one happens to be blue structured light, which is typically better than the white structured light. Here I'm doing a quick scan of this turbo compressor. This is all real time scanning. This compressor is previously coated gray, so it's great for scanning with structured light. If it happened to be shiny, then I would use laser mode for it, since laser mode picks up shiny and black items a lot better than structured light. That's the thing that's great about this scanner is you're getting multiple scanners in one. This quick scan of the turbo compressor finished. I'll just go ahead and process it here and show you how that turned out. Again, this is all real time processing, real time scanning. It's finished fusing. I'll just go ahead and do a quick isolation to remove any stray points. And there you go. I wasn't aiming for a complete scan. Just a quick scan to show you how full field mode works. This is auto turntable mode. I call it the sit and forget mode. You can set your parameters on how the turntable rotates here. Then you simply start, walk away and come back to a finished model. You can also flip the model to scan the other sides and then start to scan back up. And there you go, a nice clean model. This is laser mode. Here I'm using the cross laser. The parallel laser would be a higher detail. It generally takes a little bit longer to scan since it's less laser lines. Here I simply fast forward through the scanning process. Once you finish your scan, you can go ahead and process it, which just cleans it up, removes the background. For this scan, we also need the back side. So I'll flip it over and scan the back. Once that's finished, you can do the same and process it. Once you have enough scans, you can merge them together and have your final mesh model. And this would be the final mesh right here. You can go ahead and take this mesh, import it into software for 3D printing or CAD software for reverse engineering. I'll show you a little bit of that here. Here I imported it into my CAD software. 
and just align to the plane. And then I made a side sketch so I can revolve it around. Once I revolved it around, I made a sketch on the top for the gears. I used a pattern just to cut into it. And then from there, I did the fillets. And I cut out the little pieces over here. And there you have it, a CAD model from 3D scan to CAD model. Here we have seven laser line mode. This mode will pick up more details than cross mode. It's also good at getting into deep crevices. Right here, I'm simply focusing on the one runner of the intake just to show how deep it can get into the hole. As you can see, it got pretty far into the hole. So yeah, the Metro X by Revel Point is a nice 3D scanner. As said before, you get multiple scanners in one. So if you're looking to get into 3D scanning, it's something that's worth checking out. Also, be sure to stay tuned. I'm going to have some more guide videos coming soon. And as always, Thank you for watching.